When Liverpool won the race to sign Harry Kill, they thought they just found the missing piece to their jigsaw. But five years on, the Premiership title still eludes them, and Reds fans are pondering what may have been. When he came to Anfield, we were really thinking that was the, uh, the signing of the century, that, because at Leeds United, he'd been an outstanding player. He was quick, skillful, great shot great motivator of players and we were really looking forward to him. I thought he had a lot of potential. He was a great player but was very sort of played in fits and starts, never real got any real consistency. I look back here, he started out very well for us, um, scored a few goals, got unfit and didn't manage to get fit enough to get back in the team. I think his highlight was his first season, no doubt, um, did very well. And I think his low point was uh, when Benitez gave him, gave him the start at uh, Istanbul in the Champions League final and uh, he got injured in the first 20 minutes, I think. I think that was his lowest point. In his heyday at Leeds, he was phenomenal and uh, he just never recaptured that form and then couldn't keep his place on the side, I think, so he was, he was always in and out. But um, a good servant to Liverpool and I uh, hope he recovers from his operation. Since leaving Anfield for Turkish giants Galatasaray, the 30-year-old has found his most consistent form in years. And on the eve of 2010, that's sure to warm the hearts of Australians who are hoping he can repeat his heroic feats from Germany. I think he is a good player, but he didn't do the job for Liverpool. That's why he's got rid of him. Galatasaray, he's doing well for them, so good luck to him. Kewell made 137 appearances for the Reds, netting 16 times. But after the indelible mark fellow Aussie Craig Johnston left behind, it was always going to be a hard act to follow. Oh, Craig, I remember, has been just a great guy in the Liverpool community. He was a very involved, not just with his football ability, but he involved himself in the wider Liverpool community. I had posters of him on my room when I was a little lad. Uh, yeah, and I went to the FA Cup finals back in the 80s when he, uh, when he scored a goal and stuff. So very fond memories of Craig Johnson. Liverpool does have an Australian on its books, 18-year-old keeper Dean Bazanis, who features regularly for the reserves. With Harry departed, who will be the next Aussie to grace the hallowed turf of Anfield? There's only two Australian players that I can think of that have the calibre to go to Anfield. And I think that's uh, Timmy Cahill. But um, personally, he wouldn't leave Everton to go to Liverpool because they're arch rivals. And I, personally, I don't think he'll, he'll suit the Liverpool style of play. Um, then you've got McDonald. I think uh, he could probably move to Anfield. You've got Mark Viduka, Lucas Neal, but I can't think of any other players off the top of my head. Why don't I go first to Everton? Timmy Cahill? Yeah. Definitely not Timmy Cahill. <laughs> <laughs>